Welcome back, welcome back to the Voice Meter series. I'm really glad you guys are clicking back and watching all the videos. I really appreciate it in the comments in the YouTube community. It is amazing. I'm King Yeshua. I'm here as your mentor, and I want to show you guys how to use the 8x8 matrix in Voice Meter. All right. So it's mainly in Voice Meter Banana. I'm not sure if it's Voice Meter, and it's definitely in Voice Meter Potato. But I'll be showing you guys a Voice Meter Banana. If you guys want to tinker with it and let me know in the comments, definitely let me know. But um, here we're able to use all eight buses or all eight channels for your inputs and outputs, right? So I'll go in depth on it. Uh, just a few reminders that learning is very important. So if you guys are not understanding certain parts because everything's getting more technical and more deep, definitely go back to the other videos in the series and understand the basics of what I went over. And definitely let me know in the comments or the YouTube community where um, we'll go in depth as well. But, uh, but here, I want to primarily focus on each and every video in depth. So we'll go over the basics in the very first video that you possibly saw. And then we'll go into each and every one. We went into OBS. We went into um, eventually tape recorder. We went into off-syncing in OBS and connecting to Zoom. So different stuff like that. So let's get right in it and how to use an 8x8 matrix. All right, so let me switch here. Okay, so a few points. Um, I want to describe a little bit of what the 8x8 um, matrix is. I'm currently using it. You're always using it in voice meter, but um, you can always tinker with all eight channels that um, come accessible to this program right here. So a few things I'll be going over on the 8x8 game matrix. And also there is another matrix as well called a 15 band matrix where you primarily uh, change how a hardware input is going into voice meter and how it's outputting out. So I already made a video on that. Definitely check that out okay. as well. And um, some of the cases of the eight by eight is where you have to understand uh, multi-dimensional arrays. So just the basis of it, you're not coding or anything, not yet. Okay. But um, here um, on some notes I have, um, primarily um, you are communicating to eight channels of uh, this particular um, application. And it's called the eight by eight game matrix. And it's to uh, redistribute all eight channels of a 5.1 or a 7.1 audio single coming from your DVD player or video game. So whatever is connected to your um, voice meter, you're able to tinker and change how the channels are going through the stream, which is amazing. Because um, what I was going over in the last video, um, definitely look at each and every video so you um, you understand everything. Um, how streams work, there is a serialization and a deserialization. Where you're serializing, you are then changing what a object is and serializing it through a stream, right? And then you want to deserialize, you're taking that stream and you're making it an object. That's the basic way of understanding serialization and deserialization and coding and in software engineering overall. So um, you, um, you are inside of the stream and you are manipulating this type of um, sound or these type of bytes that are going through uh, the stream. So that's like the most basic way I can put it. So primarily, I want to uh, show you guys how this works. Uh, let me switch over here, I'm already switch over. So you guys see it already? You guys see what the 8x8 uh, matrix is? And um, this is basically what it looks like. And you can change the uh, unit you're looking at. So the uh, percentages or you wanna go by DB right over here and the way you get to it is simply by heading over to menu uh, there's a few ways you go by the file directory or just go by the GUI and you get by you get to it by clicking on this okay and you're able to use the 8x8 so I'll show you some examples of it let me open up uh, OBS again let me just see it so you can change how the streams are going okay. um, since I have um, an input and output and you will too um, when you have voice meter you are particularly going by how many you have. So if I only have, um, let's say, uh, two channels, right? Um, I would only have two inputs and two outputs. But if I have multiple, like let's say if I have another input and output um, going at the same time, I would have uh, four. So I would have an input one, an input two, a input three, and an input four. So then I output one, output two, output three, and output four, right? So that's how it's going. It's, it's not where you have one input for many outputs or one output for many inputs. It doesn't really go by that. It 
tries to make sure that the matrix is balanced, right? It's multi-dimensional, right? Then want to change some of the channels, okay. right? So then uh, for an immediate effect, I'll put it on my bus. So then I'll give you an example. Um, I'll show you what the buses are. So then your A1, A2, A3, and your B1, B2, you have more and voice meter potato. And this is where you can uh, change that stream that I was talking about from before. So let's say if I'm talking straight to you right now, and I want to increase my left channel or my left bus, right? I'm now increasing this by uh, just scrolling on my mouse. And now you should hear me more in your left side, right? Which is Span Douglas, which is amazing, right? And I can turn it all the way down. It's the same exact effect on your um, A's. And then I can do the same thing here. So I want to stay around this uh, two dimensional since I have to, um, an input um, and an output. I'll have two um, inputs so two channels of inputs and two channels of outputs so then i want to now increase the the right side i want to increase um, the output too and you can already tell how it's going for for the next one so it's left right left right left right left right left right left right so you hear me more in your right and i really suggest and i probably put it in text already i really suggest listening to this video on headphones so you'll be able to distinctly understand what is going on in this video but you should tell uh even by your speaker so that's that's the immediate effect and then just listening to uh, a video so you're not going to hear it if we were to change it for the audio um for your speakers because then you just have to listen it uh, listen to it for yourself because my my output isn't an input right i have an input in my voice meter and it becomes an output to another ob uh to another software so obs uh t-pain all that stuff that i went over you wouldn't switch that for uh the speakers because it wouldn't really pertain to the software wouldn't make wouldn't make sense for the software to really test that you have to then do it for yourself but that's this is basically how you would change it how you would understand it and how it generally works okay. you are um, manipulating and changing all of your eight channels that are available and it's in the paradigm of 5.1 and uh, 7.1 type of um, audio single. That's really it. Um, it comes with, it is intertwined and in with the remote API. So I'll be going over the remote API very soon. Within a few weeks, I'll be doing that video. We will be interacting and changing DLL files that will come later down this series. So you already see like we're getting more technical and more deep on how to change and manipulate our audio. Some final points on it. Um, it's uh, declared as a simple application, it's really a single. So it's not a multi um, type of application, just a single eight by eight game matrix. So it's just one matrix inside of there. And um, it is used to select your buses and to interact with the channels of, of your buses. They kind of intertwine with bus and channel. So then this can be helpful to yeah um, redistribute audio channels um, into different multiple channel speaking uh, speaker systems. And then um, it's also uh, it's developed um, within the SDK. So like the SDK um, is basically something that helps intertwine with the API. So it helps speak um, to like different parts of the application. So I'll have a link to and then I'll most likely be using this inside of the future videos. Just a little heads up for you guys for watching this much or just looking up this video and seeing it. Cool. Awesome. I'll be going off of this a little bit, but overall everything is based on all my intellect and all my studies for each and every video. If that's how I prepare for the videos, I just uh, go over all the stats, I go over all the facts, and I'll be able to formulate the final answer that you're looking for, possibly research it for just checking it out. Definitely give Voice Media a chance, and I have it sponsored, but uh, it's a cool software where we can manipulate and change input and output to a lot of things, right? So that's really it. Um, that's the gist of it. If I miss something really big or something really major, definitely let me know. But um, I wanted to explain what the 8x8 matrix is and how it works and how you're supposed to use it. Um, we had the direct effect of it by you hearing it through um, the OBS that I'm connecting to um, with voice meter. But um, if you want to hear it, um, just listen to yourself. Just listen back on one of your A's so we can listen back over here. Or you can just listen to something and just switch it to the A3 and then change the uh, appropriate channels so uh, yeah definitely let me know if i um went over something or not too clear on something uh definitely ask in the comments or youtube community and i'll address it in one to two days 
and uh, we'll be going over a few other things the DL the um, remote API and um, and yeah uh, that's really it thank you for watching peace out and look out for the next video coming next week I'm really excited that I'll be able to help you guys and I'm looking forward to um, new new questions and new adventures with you guys so take care and peace out